Watsons for playing country blues guitar. Today I'm going to show you one by the great Barbecue Bob. It's called Me and My Whiskey Blues. It's an open G tuning. I've got a bottleneck on my right, left hand, pinky. And if you're unfamiliar with this style of playing, I suggest you learn some basics and then come back to this. Or you can figure it out from here. It's up to you. The tune starts out with a little introduction. And I'm sliding to the fifth fret of the fourth string. One, two, three. So it's open, sliding on the third fret of the fifth string. And I'm not sure on this if he's getting the bottleneck or just using an open finger. the introduction to the song so he goes here so what I'm doing I'm we'll doing a little hammer on on the second fret of the fifth fourth string and open G string open third string slide on the third and fourth string, picking the third string, but I'm getting both the third and fourth string. So here it is. You're going to hear that throughout the song. And then I'm getting the, the slide going on the high strings on the third fret of the, of the, op of the first string. But as I pick, I'm also getting the second string. So here it is again. And I'm thumping that open bass string, and this time I'm hitting the fifth string. You're always thumping something, try to keep a bass going throughout the song. You can do this in lots of different ways. So let's play the whole first part of the opening. the first part and then he goes to what would be a C chord this is peculiar I'm not sure if this is exactly what he's doing one of the reasons I do these lessons is you know when I try to learn stuff and teach it if I make mistakes or if someone knows a better way or the original way to play it they'll chime in and let me know what I'm doing here is making really a partial C chord but using my first finger on the second fret of the fourth string and then my second finger on the third fret of the fifth string. If I play that open like that, it's kind of a C thing. I don't want to hit the top string. Then I hit the open fifth and fourth strings. that lick again. This time I'm sliding down to the fifth fret and I'm picking the first and second string. So let's play that whole thing from the beginning or from the from the C chord. bass playing. That's one of the reasons I really like Barbecue Bob's playing. So it doesn't really go to a five chord, ever, <laughs> as far as I can hear. Then he goes to the verse. Turnaround I did 
did that time. What I'm doing is going from the, this is the same position in standard tuning. You play like a, a blues and E. You're going to use that, but in this case we're in open G, but it's the same shape. I got my first finger on the third fret of the second string, second finger on the fourth fret of the third string. <laughs> Picking motion, thumb for first finger, thumb, and I'm getting all three strings in there, the open open first string, which is a, a D, open, and then my bass. Now what I'm playing over the, the vocal, and some of the little tricks he does. One thing that's interesting is when he plays that C chord, sometimes he's getting that second and third string, and sometimes he just beats on the fifth and fourth string. And he changes up the rhythm that he uses, the, the attack on those strings. And also with the bass he throws in, you know, he'll mix that up with the open fifth, sixth, and you just have to listen if you want to get all those things. But he's basically playing open strings on that. Those are all open strings. You don't have to, to fret anything. Open G is a great, great key. It's fun to play and really powerful. If you listen to the playing of Charlie Patton and early Muddy Waters stuff and Sun House especially, really, there's a power in this, in this tuning. So this is a great barbecue bob tune. You can play it as an instrumental. You can play it however you want, but it's a good way to get started in the, the open G bottleneck playing. If you have any questions, suggestions, or things to teach me about how to play the song, let me know.